Hey everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. So we continue looking at optional panels, this time the rear panels on the left and right console. Given that we have enough space in the cockpit for the pilot, we can also squeeze in some uh, weasel panels in the same cockpit without having to switch views front and back All right so we have two panels on the left console and two panels on the right console that we can add starting with this sensor panel okay we are just going to although we built the physical panels i'm just going to wire the one on the left and right okay in the middle currently it's not really used so for startup, we'll use this, this tool over here. The target flare and the laser arm. Okay, as usual, the symbology toggle, toggle, dual encoder, and then you have bottom recess, locking rings, the usual stuff, add some lines. And it looks like that, okay? So, power switch, laser arm, DCS BIOS code, very simple panel. Next, the rear EW panel. Once again, we make the holes three toggles and we only use the left and the right okay locking holes at the bottom rear bottom recess so this is the finished one with all the text added okay this is a pull to turn these are pull to turn toggle switches okay this is by your code next we go to the right console so this panel is quite big but we are just using this one and this two okay all this set are not used and this are not used at the moment so a lot of toggles these are lights but just for show okay more toggles so bottom recess locking holes you only need to do it for the ones that you're going to use Okay, add some text and this is the finished product. So this one I cut out the text and the surface I painted black so you can hardly tell. All right, you can it becomes more obvious when you look at it, but from a picture is not so obvious. Anyway, something like this, okay, just toggle so they are simple. And the last one is this CMD panel. We are just going to use this chaff flare both and then this rotary switch. This one is for show, um, I'm not wiring it, okay. But you still have to build this top recess for the whole toggle to sit. Okay, bottom recess, locking hole, and then you draw a circle to align. As usual, my rotary switch is 30 degrees, so I squeeze them compared to the actual one. Alright, so like this. So here, bottom recess, you draw the lines. I've shown in previous videos how to do it. 
So this is the finished product. All right, they look similar. TCS BIOS code. Some more optional panels. These are going to use the Leo Butner um, board, which I had from a previous build. So it was lying around. I can squeeze in a lot of useful um, functions. So you recess it, and then here you are going to have a text. Okay have the holes like this and then you can have various text and then these two are like packs and then you just stuff it in okay and you can interchange you can rearrange whatever you want okay this one just pad 2 mm okay this will be 1 mm this will be 1 mm so you see you have all this useful stuff This one, the communication, I believe it should be a back slash and not a forward slash. Anyway, I know what it's meant for. So this center and center KB is different. Center the monitor or the VR view. And then this one is I'm using open keyboard. So I center that. So anyway, all these are functions that I find useful. So you can have whatever you want. All right, so you see, this is my left console. I only have one cockpit, not front and back, right? So left console, and I squeeze in these two rear panels. The rest are for the pilot. And then these are all for the pilot and then this is for the rear and these are just generic functions so let's take a look <laughs> 